Jeff, we got the defending champs in the building. Great opportunity for DePaul, but with Xavier. Look, this is a team that's lost two in a row on the road, lost 67% of their scoring. They have to find the guy to get those wins on the road. And for DePaul, look, they've talked it, but they haven't walked it. No guy on that team knows winning. They need a huge identity win. No better opportunity than now against the defending regular season champs. Let's play ball, man. And all of a sudden, all by his lonesome underneath the rim is Adam McCoy. And that's one thing that Coach McKee said that they were going to try to do is draw Urinae away from the basket, and that allowed that back cut and the easy bucket for the Owls. And Jeff, that was predicated by the pump fake. Coach Wojo told his team that DePaul bites on the fake. Good job by Chartuni elevating DePaul and getting an open shot for his teammate. Back to a nine-point lead and a foul on Sakar Annam as he helped Max Struess trying to get to the paint. Nice ball movement and a better ball fake. Yeah, watch Chartuni just, uh, yep, nothing over there. Passes it over to Sam Hauser and good ball movement. You draw the defense, hit it to the open man. Simple basketball. You're witnessing a, a totally different player in Matt Milan in this game. I mean, he's aggressive. He's asking for the ball. You know, there's sometimes when a player loses confidence when they kind of don't want the ball, but Milan is calling for it out in the wing, calling for it with the cut, and, and you'd like to see that. Uh, he leads all scorers tonight with 16 points. Remember, no double figures this year, and he's just showing everybody. I mean, this is who they recruited when they brought him over from William and Mary. Najee Marshall again, ice water in those veins. Yeah, you see Jalen Butts on him, sag off of him a little more. You know he's going to take it to the rim. As I mentioned earlier, not someone that has a huge amount of confidence from distance. J.J. Miles for three, and Miles has been red hot from beyond the arc. And that was a concern from the coaching staff of the Mustangs, not allowing J.J. Miles to continue that hot streak. He was a Juco guy last year. It, it took him a little while to get acclimated, but this year, showing that proficiency from distance that Coach Dooley knew he would get from J.J. Miles. Stand up. Look, Lisa, late game execution. Been the Achilles heel for DePaul, Boston College, Northwestern. Coach Lato is telling his team, look, you're not going to do it individually. No hero ball. We do not have James Harden on the squad. Move it. Get an easy shot. Execute the offense. You're going to win. You're going to get back into this game as a team, not individually. And, and really, if, if, if Coach Lato had dark hair, it would be white like it is right now. <laughs> That was a, a deeper shade of, um, of... Yes, a lighter shade a of white. A lighter shade of white. Diddy okay. white, as, as we would call it. Gotcha. They do have a couple of heroes, though, on this team, and then they're one point combined between Struess and Kane here in this second half, though, by the way. 0 for 9 shooting in the second half. A loser Down 0 for 2. The Paul's going to get back into this game relying on Femi, Elugibi, and Paul Reed. you, you got to keep attacking that interior until Butler is able to stop it. B one point off of going back-to-back -back in terms of 20-point games. Again, he had a season-high 27. Kind of a homecoming for him against St. John's. Tucker thought about it. Tucker's got 16. Four of six shooting from three. The defense here by the Paul. Baldwin's got to do something with it. That was one second on the shot clock, and Baldwin with 13 points, 11 of them coming in the second half. You know what that is right there? That's, that's first team Big East all-conference player right there, Kamar Baldwin, doing exactly what Butler needed. Late shot execution with the bucket. 13 points, 13 rebounds, and he is 5 for 5 in this half. Winning time is Kamar Baldwin top. Is just so skilled on the interior. Get him the basketball. There's nobody that's been able to stop him once he got it, particularly when he gets it so low around the rim. 21. Now for Femi Elujabi. Five minutes to play. And you're seeing Coach Laval Jordan's philosophy. You either get an early shot in the first eight seconds, a great shot, or a late shot. His line is make in the first eight, make it great or make it late. 
You either get a great shot within the first eight seconds of the shot clock, if not, be patient into the shot clock. Well, you know who first coined that phrase was, was Dr. Seuss coaching his son's basketball team. <laughs> now, that was funny. Saying that like I've never been well, funny the before. Carry, that. The carrying the back thing, you know, in the first half, I was, I was a little oh, yeah, lukewarm. Didn't like that. I was yeah. a little lukewarm you on did that. Did not like that. The other thing that Lavelle Jordan has said is the fact that he doesn't have to establish anything in year number two. He just has to maintain and sustain some of the success here for Butler. This is a very proud Bulldog program. We all know they've been to the NCAA's four straight years. Not used to seeing a sub 500 record here in conference play. Yeah, they have the culture. He just needed to put his little imprint on it. But you, you're right, sustain and maintain. I'm looking to snap a two-game losing skid here in Chicago. Kane still coming up empty-handed. Why don't you keep going to, to Femi? He scored every time he got it. DePaul doesn't need to shoot threes. They haven't been successful in this second half. That's Go to your bread and butter. Yeah, that's a good point. Kane now 0 for 6 in this half. Just... The point from the free throw line. And Struess is 0 for 5, by the way. Both of them still struggling. Tucker, meanwhile, building on his career high. Make it 19 tonight. And Lisa, what you're seeing is good teams don't defeat themselves. And in this second half, DePaul has really been defeating themselves. Seven three-point makes for Butler in this half alone. McDermott lets it fly. Execution. Look at this ball movement. Interior defense collapse. Hit it to your shooter, Jordan Tucker. Look, he's not a Duke. He's a Butler, and he's balling. 